Hello everyone, we are the team AST Kai from Arab Academy Al Alamein, Egypt, and we are honored to be part of this massive event, RoboCup at Home, and share our hard work and successes with our turtle bot with you. Recently, we took an introduction in Ross workshop with Professor Jeffrey. Ross is a middleware that manages communication between applications in a distributed system. We were able to use Ross to develop sub programs or nodes such as object detection, arm controller, voice recognition, and so on, and have them interact with one another via the master node Roscore. The first task in Arena Map Building, followed by automatic navigation and the human follower. We begin by launching the master node and the RVIS mapping visualization interface, followed by bringing up the motors. We employ SLAM, simultaneous localization and mapping, and map construction. The robot localizes itself using odometry and LiDAR laser scan data. We locate the robot, then store the G-mapping node and utilize Teleop to traverse in the arena. After it has been properly scanned, it is saved. In the case of autonomous navigation, Monte Carlo localization and A-STAR is used to compute the shortest path. The navigation nodes is then performed once we give the destination coordinates. The robot begins autonomous navigation while avoiding movement and unknown objects. The second challenge is voice recognition. Hi, how can I help you? What is the weather like today? It is extremely hot. You can't ride an egg on a car. What time is it? It is currently 2 p.m. What is the capital of Egypt? Cairo is the capital of Egypt. The third task is deep learning based image processing tasks by utilizing OpenVINO, a free toolkit for optimizing a deep learning model. We begin by starting the ROS core node and the cameras. The task node is then launched. In this video, we demonstrate the use of object detection, interactive face identification, and human position estimation. The object detection model is built on YOLO, a regression-based algorithm that identifies several items in the same frame. In the interactive face detection, which concurrently performs four parallel inference tasks for the age gender recognition, head pose estimation, emotions recognition, and facial landmarks detection networks. In human pose estimation, the network recognizes a human stance, a bodily skeleton of key points and connections for each individual in the picture. In the follower task, the Astra camera is activated and the robot begins to modify and follow its base in accordance to the human in front of him. Lastly is the robotic arm joint control task. We start by launching the master node, then the Astra cameras, and bring up the arm. To grasp a certain object, we have to identify it first, using the object detection node that is previously mentioned. Thanks to the three-dimensional Astra camera, we were able to get the depth of the object and send the parameters to the robotics arm servers. Here, the robot starts searching for the commander. Once it recognizes him, it goes to his location. As you can see in this video, the commander ordered the robot to carry the bag and put it on the table. Once the task is done, it returns to the commander to wait for the next order and wait for the next order. After receiving the follow me command, the robot start following the person. Here, the robot is commanded to stop following and then go back to its original location, home. <laughs> 